Hi friends and welcome to Only Green. Our guest for the day is an artist, illustrator and, and a designer who is passionate about wildlife. Let's today meet George Abhilash who is from Trichur, Kerala and understand more about his passion and also his works. He did his B.Tech and later graduate diploma in animation from New Zealand. He has worked as a designer in Trivandrum, Ernakulam and also in New Zealand. Currently, he runs his own art and design studio under the banner Agape Design. Welcome, George, to Uli Green. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abraham. Thank you. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me here. Okay. Now, George, let's uh, try and understand. Uh, we understand that you did your engineering and after that, a course in animation. Uh, can we know a little about what inspired you to come to this uh, arts field and especially your passion to do drawings and paintings on wildlife? Also, who are the people who have inspired you to make this drastic change? Thank you. Well, I was always interested in art from childhood. And um, uh, so even while doing my I always wanted to do something creative and uh, uh, something art related. So uh, when I was even when I was a child, we grew up in a place called Walpare. My parents were teachers over there. So it was a hill station, a wildlife area. So I have vivid memories of the green over there and uh, the, all those things invite me to slowly, you know, to develop a love for nature and love for art. Um, well, I, in my animation course, there was a teacher called Mr. Rakesh. So he once took us to the Trivandrum Zoo. Trivandrum Zoo, we, so we went into the zoo and sketched many animals over there. So, you know, uh, from there, I got a spark. So I still remember it was 12, 14 years ago. Uh, still uh, remember sketching the deers in Rwanda, so so it was a, such a pleasurable experience. So always, you know, it was just two interests combined: uh, love for nature and arts as well. Yeah, it's a bit different from uh, IT, but still, I do digital art, so I use my IT skills there. Okay, and. Uh... Who are the people who have inspired you to get come into this field, arts and specifically into the wildlife domain? Uh, wildlife domain, yes. Uh, when I was a child, we had a. I read a book called uh, a Malayalam book by an author called Waikem Muhammad Bashir. His uh, the title was Bhumir Avagashiga, which means the owners of the earth. Which you know he describes how this earth not only belongs to humankind, but to animals, different birds, everything. They all, we all co-own this place. And it just, does, it's not man's property to use. So it was very well put. And as a child, I felt that, you know, uh, that message came through very strongly. And other books as well, like Rudriyad Kipling's Jungle Book, etc. Okay. Now, I mean, uh, when we talk about the arts, you make the paintings, drawings and all, what are the medium that you work with? Like uh, oil paints or watercolors? And yes. What is your preference? Yes. I, yes. Um, I do two types of medium mainly. I do oil pastels, uh, oil pastels on paper and digital art. So oil pastels on paper, I do on such... Uh, small notebooks and I do it uh, you know on such sketchbooks or even bigger paper uh, this one is from a small women's empowerment organization here so they I, I patronize them they're not a non-profit thing social service kind of thing okay so I patronize them called nomadic sketchbooks so uh, and uh, I do digital art with my Wacom and uh, software as well. So the mediums are oil pastel, oil pastel on paper and digital art. I sometimes use watercolor, but not really because this is more easier for me to handle. Uh, it, it's more tidier, that's why. Uh, you won't have paint all over you. 
and uh, in the long run uh, do you think because i mean digital uh, painting being easier to do than the actual artistic skill do you think there will be a slow shift towards the digital painting uh, this thing or because this uh, um, handmade paintings obviously need to be expensive in terms of uh, somebody buying it uh, yeah. difficult to reproduce so will digital uh, uh, painting digital artwork be the uh, in thing for tomorrow oh, well i'm not too sure about tomorrow but i don't think so because there is a beauty in something you know hand made and uh, there's a special joy and a small essence of life to it uh, which digital art also has but it's a different medium i think both will survive of course the practicality is with digital art but still i think there will be a small space for traditional medium and people to enjoy and you know yeah i would be there i feel so okay uh, you have done exhibitions of your paintings uh, recently maybe after the covid settled uh, what yes. is it that you are trying to convey through these exhibitions and how do you think you could have an impact on the younger generation with your painting especially motivating them to observe nature and also love nature and the wilderness as a whole sure sure well i had conducted an exhibition through kerala ladida kala academy it's a government organization encouraging young artists so uh, it was at the venue was sri sangara sanskrit university kaladi so a lot of students had come uh, at least we had 700 people coming there and most of them were students and the name of the exhibition was jungle siblings so i wanted to convey that you know they are also our brothers and sisters staying i mean our siblings from the jungle that's why i kept the title jungle siblings uh, so a lot of people came and a lot of people appreciated especially i want two which is very close to my heart two young students uh, two girls from northern kerala maybe 19 20 they are fine arts students they said yes yes we got it we got the message we as we i read the we read the artist statement and this and we felt very touched by it and i felt you know even of the other 698 go even these two people they found you know they got a spark and they had a joy and they also felt it yes we also look need to look after the environment and to take care of the animals and uh, such things and uh, even the forest officials had come and it was a good message for the students and even the forest officials were very happy that people are taking initiative to uh, to you know raise awareness of forest conservation So, such and such things so the yeah. so the name of the exhibition itself was a message jungle siblings where yeah. we are all uh, we all need to coexist in this world yes yes okay and uh, are you you were sure or rather you sure that you could convey that message at least to some section of the younger generation yeah yeah okay Many people were interested okay now coming to uh, if uh, somebody is interested in your artwork how can they reach you do you have a regular gallery where you exhibit or do you do it through the social media how do you market it and uh, yeah. buy your um, painting yes uh, i am talking with one or two galleries now but uh, uh, at the moment i i'll give my i have an instagram uh, called joyful colors and words in my instagram handle is joyful or you can email me on agk1984 at gmail.com agk1984 at gmail.com so uh, you could message me uh, regarding galleries i'm still talking with them so maybe in the future yes so how do you what is your what is the road ahead for you i mean collaborate Sorry? with what will be the road ahead for you i mean collaborate with other organizations yeah. so how do you plan to go ahead well i would like to collaborate with organizations and researchers to you know uh, who who need uh, illustrations for their papers or organizations like wwf or ocean organizations i would like to do projects for them or you know su- such uh, nature organizations yes hello hello indif- okay okay please go ahead 
yeah uh, and and individuals who are interested in such projects yes and uh, uh, you draw from uh, the a, a picture which is already there or you do you do photograph also and do paintings i do a bit of photograph but not uh, such wildlife photographing uh, my photography is just my surroundings over here so it's more of uh, my pets and all but uh, i take uh, i draw from photographs i ask the permission i message them the photographer and ask for their permission and then i do it i do a bit of research of uh, by you know looking at reading the papers on uh, on the or the on the type of animal and i read the papers i do a lot of reading before i then i do a bit of skeleton study as well so to know the inner parts of the anatomy then i yeah the, then i start doing the sketching slowly yes okay uh, so the details I, of sorry one more point sorry yeah. sir yeah. yeah i watch also in youtube videos on national geographic and i so that i get an idea of the environment for example like galada in ethiopia i no way i can access it but you know i watch such videos i read up everything and uh, papers and slowly work on it thank you okay uh see coming to uh, the the a message a message that you would give to somebody who who will prefer to come to this field of art and uh, the wildlife combined what will be your message for them oh um, well art and wildlife combined well uh, first of all uh, regarding wildlife i am not an expert but regarding art yes if you have a genuine love uh, you could pursue it uh, on your skills if you have a genuine love for animals it's no i i am one of my inspirations is um I, I suddenly i don't get her name terrell with latch terrell with latch is a american artist uh, she has done uh, works for avatar a lot of creature art in hollywood she does it all the organ uh, in avatar movie all those different uh, creates it and she does some anatomy things uh, i've seen her video so she says you know if you genuine love for animals and a love for art it's a it you can come and do it but you cannot you know just if you don't have such a deep desire for art or uh, nature maybe not a great idea but if you have such a uh, both you have desire for nature you can learn you know, things you know you, we can always learn and slowly we get better and better a little skill might be but slowly with time we will get better at it yeah but regarding money it was not such a lucrative field so think about it yes thank you okay so the the messages are a little bit of skill a uh, uh, deep passion for nature both coming together this surely can work out is what you see yes yes okay the details regarding are- satisfaction okay okay <laughs> not on the monetary front okay the details of uh, yeah not uh, much here okay details of uh, george's work george's instagram handle and his mail id will be given in the description uh, you can reach him there uh, thanks a lot george uh, for spending uh, some time with us and uh, explaining about your works uh, we'll uh, wishing you all the very best and hope to see you uh, budding or rather growing into a big a great artist that all of us can uh, uh, see in the coming days thanks a lot